Good day to all our lovely viewers. I'm Shreya Prabhu from Incredible Goa and today I'm going to introduce you to an IT company based in Goa. They've also set up their office in the Silicon Valley. This company was built by a young dynamic couple, Uma and Mangarish in 2009. And over a period of time, they have built a very strong team and a customer brigade in almost all continents except Antarctica. So let's go find out more about this IT company called Umang from the Umang team popularly known as the Umedikoids. One of the many things that drives mankind, helps us achieve goals, keeps us motivated and helps us build stronger bonds and relationships is enthusiasm or we call it Umang. Extremely happy to be among the CXOs of this enthusiastic company. We have with us Mr. Mangiri Salilkar, who is the CEO and co-founder of Umang. Ms. Uma Salilkar, who is the COO and co-founder of Umang. And we have with us also Ms. Poonam Narvekar, who is the CTO of Umang. Starting with Mr. Mangiri Salilkar, who also, by the way, runs two other companies, that is a branding company and a co-working space. He is also the president of Goa Association of Technologies and he's also part of several other business associations. So Mr. Mangiresh, uh, would you tell us how you manage Umang and how you manage your time? So about management, firstly I think so, well, let's talk about the word entrepreneurship. And uh, entrepreneurship has always been my passion and now it has become addiction. Entrepreneurship has, you know, eventually uh, we, we start three companies now from Umang to Grandma Business, now to a co working space which is Corporate Tech. And this uh, period, I have you know, uh, eventually met a lot of people, we have grown a lot of business, we have uh, also built an awesome network in and around Goa, uh, outside Goa, internationally. And now I feel that's my turn where I can give back to the society. So that's where I felt I should uh, start or build a community around the IT uh, ecosystem and that's where we started an uh, association called GTA, for Technology Association. So we all know about the success of Imam, but Mangarish, can you please tell us about the hardships or the challenges that you faced or even failures if any? So let me do a bit of the rewind and let us uh, go maybe 12 years behind. So when we started off this company, Umang, trust me, starting an IT company in Goa first is not a joke. And then starting a company in 2009 was never a joke. And uh, what happened was, uh, you know, we had a lot of hardships when we were looking at uh, setting up a firm, whether we should be setting up a private limited or a proprietary, what are the advantages, what are the, because we also had initially a foreign client, we did not know how to receive uh, the money, whether it has to come in uh, Indian rupees or it has to be kept somewhere else in US dollars or all these things, nothing was clear to us and of course when I was coming uh, along with Una uh, with a background which is a technical background getting into the business line and Rolling the ball was not a joke. So, uh, so those were the hardships. And at that point, if you ask me, today we have uh, with this buzz startup in uh, place. We have mentors. We have funding uh, guys. We have everybody. But at that point, there was no one. I mean, I eventually came to know after three, four years that we are called as a startup. Ms. 
Sinam, as the CTO, could you please tell our viewers about your major clients and sophisticated projects that Uman works on? Yeah. So, uh, the major project we worked on, I will say I worked on, uh, was from Norway, uh, funded by United Nations uh, in the marine domain. We worked with this client for almost nine years. Then we had successful deliveries uh, in the construction domain from United States and Netherlands as well. Uh, adding more to this list, uh, we had again the deliveries in diamond cutting industry, repair industry in uh, Indonesia, then uh, government administration system from uh, UK that was during the Brexit time. Then coming to the ongoing projects, uh, we are maintaining a maternity clinical software from United States and uh, this software is recognized as the software to be used in all US clinics. Another healthcare project, uh, the ongoing one is from Australia which is serving almost 3 million patients and 1000 plus healthcare organizations. The more projects are from uh, accounting domain from Belgium, that's the one which we are maintaining. Then again from the quality management software uh, in manufacturing industry, transportation uh, software from Italy and uh, pharmaceutical software from uh, Netherlands and Tunis. So this is all the major projects that we are uh, doing as of now. Could you also tell us about the new technology and the IT services that Among is working on? Yeah, so if you see in this digital world, we must say that data is very important in the most places thing. So uh, the concepts like data science, uh, data mining, data warehousing, these are, are highly in demand. So we have successfully uh, delivered the projects in these concepts of uh, data warehousing from uh, United uh, Kingdom, UK and also the Colombia. Then uh, coming to, because we have seen in this pandemic the rise in this OTT subscribers. People become must be aware of it like uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hotstar and so on. So we do have our internal uh, product of ours which is developed by our team in the OTT field. In the similar way I would say telemedicine because telemedicine is here to stay long even after the pandemic. So we have developed the telemedicine that is online consultation platform for psychologists and uh, for the pet that is veterinary uh, clinical software from US. So these are some of the enterprise services that we are focusing on. Thank you, thank you very much Ms. Puna. Thank you Ms. Puna and thank you Ms. Mangesh. So Ms. Orfi, being the technical director at Puma, tell us how do you build trust and confidence in your customer that is both local and international? Uh, we have local and international clients. Our major focus is on the international clients. Coming to the trust and confidence, I think so they love the way we deliver quality work. We have clients all around the world. Uh, some we have met, some we haven't. So in order to bridge the gap of culture and the time zone and language region, we have to focus mainly on communication and transparency of workflow, which plays a vital role when it comes to international trade. Being ISO certified company, we have to also we have a standard protocols and processes to follow, which actually helps us to achieve the trust and the confidence in the clients. Hi Oscar, Hi. as the business development manager at Umang, please tell us how is it to be a member of Umang? We receive many CVs and uh, we are very choosy when it comes to getting a new team member on board at Umang. Most of the candidates we interview come with uh, great skills, qualification and experience. And at times there are a few candidates who come through references also. For us, the most important thing is the attitude. If that is not right, the rest of the things doesn't matter. Because we believe that uh, skills can be taught but not the attitude. That develops over the time with the principles and values you carry. Right? So, at Umang, each of the person is handpicked. So we are not just a team of star, but a star team. Hi Mrs. Shweta, as the team lead, please tell us how is Umang different from the other companies? Yeah, good question you asked me. Like, uh, I have worked in many companies before, even for that matter MNCs. But Umang is different. Here we follow open culture. Even management team 
for that matter they are very friendly you can reach out to them at any point of time so it becomes working easier compared to other companies and uh, nowadays just now pandemic had crossed us right so in that i have heard from all of my friends almost all that they had pay cuts which was very bad but actually in umang for it's a good thing that we did not had that that's very uh, nice yeah. so if i would say as a fresher if someone wants to try their luck and they have that capability of working independently and they have that skills then sure definitely umang is one of the best options for them so that was team umang and as rahi said earlier umang is not a team of stars but it is a star team thank you all for watching and we'll see you soon in another episode of incredible goa until then stay tuned stay safe and